Parker. Peter Parker. Hey, Peter Parker. You got something for me? <sighs> She's got health. love superheroes don't you they're so awesome they can do so many amazing things and i've watched all of the marvel movies love it love it love it and um that's why i wanted to pick the theme for our first unit in social studies to be becoming a super student because this year is an exciting awesome one where everything gets kind of kicked up a notch and you are going to develop some amazing new skills and new abilities over the course of the year. And our first unit is going to be planning for that. So let's just take a second. What kind of student are you? If your teachers asked you, no, back then, if I asked your teachers from last year, what kind of student is so-and-so, what would they say? What kind of student have you been? Take a second, think about that. What kind of student are you? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are you good at? What do you struggle with a little bit? Okay, you kind of have that thought. Okay, so now if I say super student, what do you think I mean? What is a super student? Is it, I don't know, somebody who does all their work? Is it someone who gets good grades on tests? Is it someone who like participates in class and does what the teacher says? I mean, what a super student is could be so many different things, right? Um, in social studies, we actually have a rubric that's on the Canvas assignment where you got this video that lays out exactly what we consider a super student. And what we're going to do is we're really going to center on getting to know that rubric and being able to develop the traits and the skills to meet that rubric. This is just a part of it, this is a picture of it, but you can see that there are character traits here, there are behaviors you do during class, there's ways that you're managing your learning, there's things you've gotta be able to do on Canvas, on Google Docs, on email. So there's a whole list in social studies that explains exactly how to be a super student. And the awesome thing is that most of these skills will make you a super student in all of your classes as well. So our first task in social studies, and remember every unit we do is going to have a task to start it that we need to learn things to be able to complete, okay? Our first task is for you to create a plan to make you a super student. Here's how it's gonna work. First, we're gonna review the social studies super student rubric and really break it down. And so then we're gonna learn the skills and knowledge you need from that rubric. Oh, I see on the rubric that I'm supposed to be checking Canvas for missing assignments. Do I know how to do that? Let's make sure, okay? Then you personally are going to create a plan that reflects your strengths and your challenges as a student and then you're going to present your super student plan in a format of your choosing. Maybe it's a slides presentation. Maybe it's a video. Maybe it's a poster. Maybe it's an essay. It's totally up to you. Now, before you start getting into, oh my goodness, what does it do? How do I do this? What exactly are the requirements, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Understand that sixth grade involves more new skills and more responsibility, okay? 
And creating this plan is meant to be an actual help to you as you move forward in seventh grade. Okay, it's going to focus on what skills and knowledge you need to be successful in seventh grade, what areas of struggle. It's going to help you identify those and how to overcome them. It's going to give you mindsets and character traits that will help you succeed, and it will help, help you set some goals for your learning. Listen, you don't have to go home tonight and do this. You don't know what to do. Okay, so don't do anything. Just know where we're going. We're going to work on this together in class. It's not going to be due for a couple of weeks. And this video is just giving you an overview of what it is. There's not a lot of information here and there's not meant to be. I just want you to know where we're going together. Okay, I will see you in class.